I just came back from a rescue mission and no, it was not life-threatening. It had something to do with this case and whatever is inside, I don't care. I just want it. Hey, uh, peeps, my name is Dino, welcome to the vlog. Let me tell you what happened. We're going on a rescue mission. You'll see all about that in a second. Somehow the drone lost connection and apparently landed on the top of the roof. He wouldn't let him climb up to the top, so now we have to fly up and see if it's actually there. So now pretty much we're using a little drone to fly up to the roof to get the big drone. Our mission was pretty much to locate and make sure the drone's on the roof, so mission accomplished. Yep, drone's on the roof. So this here is the DJI Mavic Mini, the newest addition to the lineup of drones in the DJI Mavic series. It is tiny, it is light, it is versatile, it is easy to use, and it comes in a cute package. And honestly, when I first saw it, I just couldn't get over how tiny and fragile it was. I mean, you see photos and videos of comparisons, but it's not until you take it out and put it in the palm of your hand and you realize that it's just so <laughs> tiny and cute and these little rotors are so flingy, you just think it's gonna break by flying and not doing anything drastic or extreme. Uh, I'd be scared to own this. So it's got a tiny little wee camera at the front with two axis stabilization. These four little unfoldable rotors, it, almost exactly like the Mavic Pro works. The controller is pretty much the same without the LCD screen, so the simplified version. And yeah, you saw it took us ages to find where these little joystick thingies go. And they actually go into these tiny holes here. It, it's confusing, but very, very clever. Like all the DJ Mavic drones, it's very convenient and easy and quick without any hassles or weird kind of requirements that some other manufacturers have from what I've heard. So that is definitely going for it. And the fact that it's so tiny, it's so easy to put into your camera bag or with other luggage. It flies very similar to the Mavic Pro. It's it's um it's quieter it has a higher frequency it's kind of more like a you know a, a mosquito compared to a bee or something if you compare those two and the battery doesn't slap into the top it comes into this little into this little butt opening in the back it just slides in and it comes with this i don't know if this comes with the default pack but there's this cool battery holder slash charger thing for all your batteries so you slide them all in here and then you charge them on one of the sides which i thought was very convenient the footage is passable you can't compare it to a phantom or a mavic pro for like a hobbyist or a beginning photographer or videographer or someone who's just getting into drones it's gonna do its job pretty well i mean full hd video and semi stabilized it's got digital stabilization and two axes of mechanical stabilization which is great but it's kind of like the difference between making your point a good quality point and shoot fly and making your phone fly like you'll still get good video but it's just not the same i definitely recommend it to someone as a first drone but me myself with the more you know adventure outdoor photography that i do i probably would not be thinking it out so much unless I'm always on the road and every gram in my bag matters. So much about that tiny little drone. Thank you guys so much for watching. And maybe I should go on eBay and um, find a bag like this just so I can have a cute little bag because I love it. See you guys in the next video. Toodaloot.